Good evening. If you thought this week couldn't get any more unusual than it was, say, on Wednesday or on Thursday, well, it has. Today, the President of the United States retweeted a heavily edited video of Nancy Pelosi designed to show her stuttering and seemingly incoherent. It is deceptively edited, but another video, which is actually full-on manipulated, slowed down to make Pelosi appear not just incoherent, but perhaps ill or drunk, this fake video has been put on social media and seen by millions. We're not going to show either of the videos to you because we want to amplify something that's false. The president doesn't seem to mind doing it, but we do. The president's TV lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was happy to as well, but then took the video he tweeted down, then tweeted a mangled explanation, and I'm quoting now, or at least I'm trying to, Ivis apology for a video which is allegedly is a caricature of an otherwise halting speech pattern. She should first stop and apologize for saying the president needs an intervention. R. If you are trying to make out your opponent as drunk or incoherent, probably not great to send out an actually incoherent tweet. He also included a visual aid. I want to show you there the photograph he included with the tweet, some basketball players throwing their hands in the air. Not sure why. More on Mr. Giuliani shortly. As for the president himself, here's what he said on the way to Japan. Well, I don't know about the videos. I can tell you that uh, what I'm here is to help the country. That's why I did this. I don't know about the videos, he said, then quickly changed the subject. Now, keeping him honest, his own tweet does say otherwise. Quote, Pelosi stammers through news conference, it reads in all caps, and right below it is the heavily edited video. So who are you going to believe, the president of the United States or the tweet from the official account of the president of the United States? As for the continued attacks on Pelosi, the president is putting the blame on Pelosi. Excuse me. This just shows how fake you and the news are. When you say when you say a personal attack, did you hear what she said about me long before I went after her? Did you hear? She made horrible statements. She knows they're not true. She made she said terrible things. So I just responded in kind. Look, you think Nancy's the same as she was? She's not. Maybe we could all say that. That's that verbal tick again. The president has a long history of it, saying something that's at best arguable or not true, and then suggesting that the people uh, who he's saying it to all agree with him. Maybe we can all say that, he says, after suggesting the woman's second in line of succession to him is losing it. Maybe that's the point. Maybe the point is suggesting that his political opponents aren't quite mentally competent. Keep in mind, if you don't think this could be a campaign strategy in 2020, all you have to do is remember what happened in 2016 when Hillary Clinton had a health scare. Uh, fails to point out several signs of illness uh, by her. All Which you got to do is go online. Wait, All you have to do is go, uh, her campaign and a number of people defending her saying there, there's nothing factual to the claims about her health uh, and well, that that's, that's speculation at best. Well, so go online and put down Hillary Clinton illness. Take a look at the videos for yourself. Yeah, no speculation on the Internet. Rudy Giuliani then sounding a lot like Rudy Giuliani now.